You're watching Math Feats, episode 25. I'm going to make a video for each anime this season. You're watching episode 25. So I just finished watching episode 1 of Vinland Saga. It finally fucking came. The day finally got here that I could finally watch Vinland Saga animated by Wit Studio. It was great. I loved it. The director is Shuhei Yabuta and he has only directed up to this point moment Inu Yashiki but he has also done he's been the director like 3D director for a lot of shows and stuff like that like he's directed Parasite's OP which I think being the only good thing about Parasite let me check yeah it was the only good thing about Parasite yeah so Yabuta also directed like he did 3D he was the 3D director for you know Attack on Titan and Attack on Titan season 2 not attacking not 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 Attack on Titan season 3 I guess or part 2 he was the 3D director for No Game No Life I don't ever remember that and he was the 3D director for Attack on Titan on Trains Kabanari of the Iron Fortress here is a dramatic retelling of my experience watching Vinland Saga. Yo, look at him, he just sliced that fucking dude. Yo, it's Dorko! Holy shit! Is that my son, Canute? Oh my god! And Askeladd? Holy shit. Vinland Saga is the best thing that there is. So let's get back into this episode. Okay, so one thing that was interesting is that there was an anime original opening and it was pretty cool. I gotta say, I was a bit worried, you know, I mean, I, not that I knew there was an anime original opening or anything, but I mean, the moment I saw like, wait, this, the moment I had the thought, just like, this didn't show up. Th this was not in the manga. <laughs> Go read Vinland Saga's manga, guys. But, uh, you know, I mean, hey, this this looks great. I'm fucking having fun. I'm waiting for the new chapter of Vinland, really, though. But we gotta get the anime babies on somehow. So the first episode of Vinland Saga starts out with Thor's basically staring into a, a plains-like area where he sees his wife, Helga, and she's holding a baby which is definitely Yilva. And Yilva is great. She looks so good, but I've been getting ahead of myself. Okay. <laughs> Where is Gudrid though? Gudrid better be in this fucking show. I don't care. I don't care, dude. If they're gonna cut ahead, if they're gonna skip two chapters, son, I wanna see, I wanna see Gudrid. I need to see Gudrid. If I can't see Gudrid, we fighting, okay? With studio, listen to me, okay? If Gujin is not in this anime, okay? She can beat an OP, please. I need Gujin. She is my lifeblood. Okay, so after the anime original opening with Thor's and his son, Thorko, out here fucking on Thor's last fight, as he, it's so fucking cool, dude. Seeing Thorko, I'm fucking hype. That's young motherfucking Thorkel out here. Brings a tear to my eye. For those of you who don't know who Thorkel is, you know, I'm gonna post that one panel that will just immediately endear you to Thorkel when you see him doing the whole entire reference to the Shining movie. That is amazing. So you see what basically was described in the manga. It was Thor's basically going out to fight and then leaving as dead, okay? He just disappeared. He killed a guy. He... Motherfucker. That was my phone alarm. It's 9 a.m. right now. So you see Thor's stab... Take a man's sword and stab him underwater with it. <laughs> and then you see the moment in Thor's eyes and he drops the sword and you see it start floating down and that's fucking expert cinematography as the sword drops to the floor and Thor's is fucking gone and he's out there 
he has, you know, symbolizing that, you know, he has given up the fight and he's leaving combat for good here when he drops the sword and decides to say goodbye to the Vikings. The mother fucking Joms Vikings. And then the weight of the sword hitting the ground. It wasn't his sword, but I mean, fuck man. I was freaking out just seeing that. And then and then when he gets out of the water and he turns around and he sees all of those boats on fire. And if you read the manga, you knew that that is a fucking Viking funeral that's happening. They are having the funeral for Thor's right there. Ah! So there's to say about the CG. It's not bad. Um, I'm not even upset about it. I think it looks good. I mean, sure, maybe there were some moments that were like maybe wacky a bit. I can't even think of any off the top of my head, but I mean, mixes the 3D and 2D well. I don't know. I do think that 3D does look worse in like 20 FPS though. Like how anime normally is rendered in, they'd probably just have to render it faster. I don't know. You know what? I say they're doing fine on it. The guy is a 3D director after all. He He's the 3D guy, if you will, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, after Thoris abandons the Joms Vikings, we get to see the absolutely amazing OP. So this is the kind, same kind of OP that Parasite basically had with, you know, um, Japanese rock dudes yelling out there's like a fake hype part that's like i've given up everything and then it, and then the payoff isn't as much of a payoff as it should be what a tragic uh turn of events you tried though survive said the prophet the name of the op is mukanjo i don't know why i've given up everything <laughs> you see murder boy thorkel though and he looks fucking tight there was absolutely zero reference to Slave Days, Thorkel, which is what I'm waiting for. I don't know how that's gonna work, but it ha it's gonna happen because, I mean, Gudrid has to show up sooner or later, right? They can't just not have Gudrid in the anime. That that's not an option here. Anyway, the OP is fine. It gets me hyped. It does what it's supposed to do. I'm fucking hyped. Although I'm also already invested, so it's not like they really had to do that much to get me into this. Because I knew I was gonna like Vinland because Vinland is great and as long as it's not like turning out like shit then this anime is already something that's gonna make me happy because it's gonna get more people on board. And more people watching and more people on board means more money for the, the creator of Vinland Saga, Mokuto Yukimura, a man who also made Planetus. I haven't read Planetes, but uh, read Vinland Saga, bastard! Yeah, I'm talking to you. This show made me come 100 times, and I can't wait to come 100 times more as soon as I stop blue balling myself and I finish Mad Feet so that I can finish watching the rest of the episodes of Vinland Saga that are out right now. And also, Dr. Stone, soon. Mad Feet's forever. For the amount of things that they add to this anime that is just anime original, um, pretty good. Also, I wanted to add this about Makoto Yukimura. The more people on board to read this manga, give more money to him, which is good because we need as many people as possible. This needs to be the new biggest manga. Hashtag dethrone one piece. Hashtag dethrone one piece. Let's put Vinland on top. Really, Dr. Stone should be on top. That is my official statement. Anyway, you see Thorfinn do his daily chore. Just see him squeeze some cow titty. And then we are brought into chapter three, basically, where the slave, the runaway slave reaches the house and they try to bring him back to life. And half Dan comes. Unfortunately, we didn't see Siggy. Son, where's Siggy at? <laughs> Hashtag cuck sicky. Hashtag cuck siggy. <laughs> cucked once again, <laughs> says Siggy. Siggy got cucked again, guys. He got cucked again. This is all you're getting from this video. You fucking should have knew what was coming here. <laughs> that it would just be me 
just memeing out all the fucking memes from the manga of Vinland Saga because I just I'm like my brain is blown there's no intellectual content there never has been intellectual content actually so you know so far in the anime Thorfinn is okay I don't know if maybe it's me but Thorfinn seems a little too soy boy than you know how how he was in the manga maybe it was you know I did look through it a bit but I didn't really look or pay attention to Thorfinn that much I just went back to look to see um what the fuck how many chapters did we skip because I was so upset that they did not open with the original opening for Vinland Saga because the original opening for Vinland Saga was the hypest shit ever and I thought was literally the perfect opening to any manga ever it's the coolest shit I swear to god that better be in the anime it better be brought in later because I thought that was the coolest thing I thought that whole setup and lead up and everything was great I mean Askeladd is somewhere in the anime I know he's there so like they have to at least have that first that that first one that first invade it's so good that makes me come dumpsters every day it was a classic timeless opening that made me coom so much <laughs> i'm saying i coomed so much over the opening of vinland saga's manga compared to this anime i i'd say i'd say it's a little less coom i'd say i'd say compared to the coom of the manga it's more like a, it's more like a like a lowercase c coom you know what i'm saying anyway i'm not gonna go too deep into this uh i love leif he looks great if you guys didn't know, Vinland Saga is, you know, set on being as realistic to what Vikings actually lived like as possible. That's pretty cool. Canute was an actual person. Leif was an actual person, as was Thorfinn and Gudrid, who hasn't showed up yet. Um, anyway, the voice acting's pretty good. I think Thor Thorkel got a pretty good voice actor. Thor's was really fitting. I I liked I like Thorfinn's voice actor for kid voice actor pretty good also also there's Ari Ari is in this fucking manga son my son Ari I'm just fucking freaking out Yilva has a pretty good voice actor they all have good voice actors I'm just fucking wearing rose colored glasses you're not gonna get any criticism out of me today okay just just give it up give it up man Yilva is mad fucking moe in the moment where she drags Thorfinn down to make him go to sleep while all the adults are still talking is so cute I wish I was him in that moment oh my god sleepy Yilva is so cute she's like eh yeah nah. <laughs> So this first episode is a 28 minute episode. So for, for manga idiots like me, that's 28 minutes of straight coom. Yeah, so Thor's pays eight use for a slave man who dies that night and uh, GG. I can't wait for uh, people to start talking about slaves again. Oh no. Because, yep, there are a whole lot of slaves in Vinland Saga and a whole lot of slave selling. And even though they are acting, they are going to, you know, obviously react negative to, negatively to it. And I don't, and Thor's never said this, I'm pretty sure, in the manga. But in the anime, he says, just, you know, probably to add to it, like, Yova asks, can we get a slave? Because mom is getting weaker and shit and Thor's is just like we don't do that and I'm pretty sure that wasn't in the manga but now they're anti-slave okay I mean of course which is fine but I mean I'm just saying guys look slavery is legal they're called orphanages you know they're called orphanages I demand for there to be more close-up shots of Yilva because she has not been even taken up a full shot yet I'm tight dude there's only that one shot where she's like sleeping and like it has bad lighting and is not worthy of a thumbnail. Please fix this issue. At the time of recording this, there are three episodes that have out if I can't find a fucking picture of Yilva that looks good. Um, you're gonna tell by the shit 
thumbnail that this video is gonna have if I could not find a big enough face of Yilva to put on the thumbnail. Anyway, I am done shit posting. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching so much. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Oh, and math feeds forever. Oh, and go fucking watch and read Vinland Saga.